Anyway, uh, casual tutorial time. Today let's talk about the Dreamcatcher mount. It's kind of cool because it's sort of related to some other mounts that uh, don't get mentioned a lot in tutorials, so this will be fun. Anyway, let's just cover the basics. That's what the mount looks like. You have some twists up here, some twists down there, kink here. When you let go of the index finger here, you end up in just a trapeze. So, now let's cover how to do it just in the easiest way I showed you there. So, uh, double or nothing, pull this through, twist down like that. So now you have a twist in the string there. Hop out the front on that side and hop in on the front on this side and you're there. Let go of this finger, boom. The idea of dropping into the trapeze like that is actually pretty interesting. You see it a lot in uh, competitions where someone might be doing a complicated trick and then just drop into a trapeze. It's a, it's a, really it's a subtle kind of flashy where, you know, you do something really interesting and twist it up and then you just drop it out like a, into a trapeze like it's no big deal. So, uh, it's also related to the uh, red clover mount, which is one of the better known ones for that, where you, know, you do whatever you're trying to do, gets all twisted up, drops into a trapeze like that. And also, we mentioned, I think in a, one of the, I think the second episode of Casual Tutorial, the uh, sort of kink mounts, where you have that sort of stuff, but then sort of you can just drop it all into a trapeze if you want. So, that's some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, Another thing to consider about the uh, the way that we were doing the uh, Dreamcatcher mount here, notice that we twist this here in order to do that. Um, if you don't twist it, instead of dropping into that uh, trapeze there, you don't twist it, but you do the other motions just the same, you end up in a twisted green triangle, which is cool. Which also leads you to think some other interesting thoughts, some sort of combinatoric stuff. So, um, you can twist or not twist this. Um, so let's say we don't twist it, you can hop out the front or the back of this triangle here. Let's hop out the back this time. And you can come in on the front or the back of this triangle. Let's go on the front again. And you end up like that. And so there should be eight different ways you can do that. I've showed you three of them right now, feel free to try the other three. I think one of them will end up in a bucket. I think another one of them will end up in just a trapeze. Uh, another one of them might end up in a triangle again. So feel free to experiment with those. You get some pretty interesting stuff there. Um, one more quirk about this before we go on to something interesting. Well, something else interesting is that that's sort of another way to get into it. So the idea there is that you pinch here Swing it around, stick your hand in there. You should be able to do it cleanly if you try. And you can get the same distinction between having it untwisted like this or twisted like this, just depending on the way you move this hand. So if you bring this, so if you basically twist this hand upside down, bring everything around, you'll end up with it. Well, I mess it up there, but you can basically try to get a difference there. I'm not great at it, but anyway, so twist it there, boom. So what I'm doing there to get it to stay untwisted is as I'm getting close to the end, I let go earlier, which allows it to sort of untwist itself. Whereas if you keep it pinched tight and go around, you're more likely to end up with the twist in there. So that's a thing to consider. Um, I've been messing this one up a lot, so hopefully I'll be able to land it, is that from there, you can do a suicide with it. And then from there, same deal, you can just let go. So uh, when you do that suicide, uh, part of what you can do to make it a little more manageable is to uh, pinch here. Don't let go of this, just you know, pinch it there, then swing it around. Uh, you have to manage the way the yo-yo is moving because if the yo-yo goes too far away from your hand, then the loop will close up like that and it'll be difficult, so you need to make sure the yo-yo is sort of tracing an arc rather than just going to the end of the string. So, and I just find that, that's cool. 
And now just a couple more things that this is related to. So uh, instead of hopping out and doing that stuff, from here, let's say instead you were to undercut with your thumb, you know, because it's always cool to have your thumb doing a thing, you end up in this mount, which is actually really cool for at least one reason, which is it's just basically an upside down uh, red uh, clover. So this is the normal red clover, like that. And where I was before was just with those hands switched. So again, the way you do that is get into this uh, sort of not quite dream catcher mount here, undercut with your thumb, and you're there. And so you can bounce from stuff there. There's some pretty interesting stuff you can do, but a lot of various ways to just drop into uh, a trapeze, which makes that all pretty interesting. Uh, and from there, that's also, uh, this mount here is sometimes called the heart mount, because it's a heart shape. You can hold it with just the string behind like this, or you can hold it like that. From here, if you let go, you'll end up in a trapeze, but uh, if you uh, land it in there, and you let go of either of them, but we'll just let go of the thumb for convenience, you'll end up in a twisted trapeze to get out. You'll need to sort of, well, I mean, twisted is the wrong word. It's not a twisted trapeze, it's a bearing wrap. So it's wrapped around the bearing to let it out. You'll have to like untwist that. So you were here, you need to let it out like that. The way that I usually like to get out of that is to hop it up, then cross my hands like that to let it go. So um, anyway, I think that's everything we're going to talk about today. So anyway, sort of recap on that is that um, Anyway, where we're talking about the Dreamcatcher mount, which uh, looks like this. It's cool because you can drop it just into a trapeze. There are other cool mounts that you, you can drop just into a trapeze, such as the Red Clover mount and the Heart mount. And uh, also you can mess around with tweaking the different variables on the Dreamcatcher mount, or when you're getting into the Dreamcatcher mount, in order to get green triangles or buckets or uh, just that trapeze like we were talking about. So anyway, I hope you find this episode useful. Uh, if you're watching freestyle videos or trick videos, make sure you watch out for these mounts. You'll probably start noticing them now, which is fun. Uh, feel free to take anything from there and experiment with it. Work it into your own combos and tricks. It'll be fun. Uh, if you've liked uh, the episode, uh, feel free to let me know on YouTube or on Reddit. Um, you know, uh, those are things that help me out. Leave comments, ask questions, uh, overall would be nice. Uh, if you like the shirt, let me know. Uh, we recently did a run of these shirts and they went pretty well. Um, anyway, if you have been liking the show, if you haven't been watching it, thanks.